If we head into the summer months, which is pretty typical here in California during July, August, September, running AC can be quite energy intensive and gets really expensive. Even though there is significantly more sunlight during that time of the year, the amount of consumption that happens because of how hot summer is generally outpaces what you're really able to produce. In this scenario here, we can see that during the month of August, it pulled almost $1,000 extra during that month. Then the following month, it got a little bit cooler, but it's still $760 so on and so forth. And you can see how this happens. Towards the end of the year, production also drops because the amount of sunlight hours available drops. So in this scenario, we wind up with a customer who, despite producing over $5,000 of electricity in that year, at the end, they're gonna owe roughly about $4,500. The thing for this customer to do would be really to add more solar panels to his system and therefore mitigate that additional. Now, granted, depending on the number of panels you add, that may also push you into the next net metering standard. If we find that that's the case, then we would recommend a battery instead.